Moby Dick is trash. Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books, reading and stuff. This is Garb August, an event created by Criminology, where for the month of August we talk about trashy literature. So let's talk about the white elephant in the room, or rather the great white sea creature in the room, which is Moby Dick. Moby Dick is trash. Matilda's father was right. This is not a new opinion. Henry F. Chorley, writing in the London Athenaeum Journal in October 1851, described it as so much trash belonging to the worst school of bedlam literature. It's a crappy wailing manual with a lame short story thrown in. Indeed, chapter 103 is called Measurement of the Whale's Skeleton with Melville rambling on about the skull shape of sperm whales. Steve Donoghue, in his recent video, A Little Trash Talking for Garb August, said Meg by Steve Alton was perhaps his favourite trash novel, a story about an albino megalodon that unbelievably comes to the surface. He says if it did that because of the pressure, it would explode. Meg and Moby Dick are both unbelievable tales about a 60 foot long white sea creature. Meg even has a higher rating on Goodreads than Moby Dick. Moby Dick was named after a real life whale called Mocha Dick. But why the hyphen? Why do we need a hyphen in the title? Is the title some 19th century dick joke? Herman Melville can write. I could tell you about his masterpiece Bartleby the Scrivener, a short story, but I would prefer not to. Do you think Moby Dick is trash? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, you can like and subscribe below and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.